Hallelujah. Psalms 27 and 4, the Living Version. The one thing I want from God, the thing I seek most of all, is the privilege of meditating in His temple, living in His presence every day of my life, delighting in His incomparable perfections and glory. And here we find the psalmist sharing his heart with us, saying, I don't know about you, I know there's a lot of things around, but there's one thing that I'm desiring above all other things. There's one thing that I want more than anything else. And that is, I want to dwell in the presence of the Lord. I'm after the presence of the Lord. I recognize no place can minister to me like the presence of the Lord. It's in His presence. There's fullness of joy. I don't know about you, but I want to be in an eternal joyful place. I want to be in a place where the joy is so real that I am translated, that joy has has taken over my soul and I am joyful I am at peace I am at rest I'm at my best praise God because I'm dwelling in the secret place of the Most High I'm in the temple of God one thing have I desired now I know there are a lot of great things out there there's a lot out there but there's one thing that my focus is on in this hour and that is to be in the presence of the Lord and I recognize in order to be in the presence of the Lord there's something that I need to do I need to to pursue this relationship I need to go after this relationship I need to on purpose on time purpose in my heart that, that as I go through the day I will avoid distractions distractions will not leave me off course but I will make it my business to stay focused and spend time in the presence of the Lord one thing I will keep that the main thing I will keep that as my priority to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord what we gaze upon we become like remember Moses up in the mountain we talked about that in an earlier time uh, gazing uh, on the glory of the Lord and come down and he was transformed his vision uh, face was transformed Formed. And when you looked at him, uh, uh, people were even afraid to look at him. There was so much glory because he paid a price up there on the mountain and he dwelt, gazed at the presence of the Lord. What a powerful encounter. And just to think that we have that same God living on the inside of us. Just to think that we serve this same God and we too uh, can dwell in that secret place of the Most High God. God is saying, come. Come on, I want you to come. Peter wanted to walk on the water. Who is it that want to come into the presence of the Lord? Who is it that want to gaze on His beauty? Who is it that want to see the Lord every time you go to church, every time you're at home, as you're driving in your car? Who is it that want to stay in the presence of the Lord? Who is it that hooked on God today? A lot of people hooked on TV and hooked on a whole lot of other things, but who's hooked? Who's addicted to the presence of the Lord today? Praise God. It's in His presence. There's fullness of joy. The psalmist said one thing. I'm not asking for a whole lot of things, but one thing. And I want to live with him in his house my whole life long. What must it be like to spend one night with the king? 